Aside from almost running out of Duridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. A captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you've dodged the issue. We can't make mistakes. Might go down as the most obvious thing a first officer ever said. You've spent enough time with him now. Seen enough of how he runs the ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success, and I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear, I care about Solano, I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Jara. Monitor your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. You're welcome. Just doing my job. I'll never forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. It's always better to know. No matter how awful, the truth is better than living with a lie. I am coming around to that thinking as well. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? Power cells. Lydians must supplement main system power with these. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. There? All right. Etzelar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Nelly. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Got one. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only one left. Here it comes. It 
works. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. For all we know, she was trapped watching it happen. Fighting it the whole time. It never hurts to hold on to hope. Especially when it's someone you care about. And I know it looks bad, but we're gonna get her back. I won't let her go. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. We don't like this any more than you do. The Takan are a threat to all of us. They turned our crewmates too. Do you really think they're gonna stop there? All I know is that more of my people have been lost to the transformation than yours. Not to mention my Admiral and the others who didn't survive your rescue attempt. Our losses are mounting. Yours are just beginning. We're stuck on this ship, same as you. I'm blocked out of helm control. Propulsion? And they're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Ah. Ah. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. The Zeldi. And that's where we are. That's not exactly news. Long way from Hotari space. I hope the Resolute is all right back there. The Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship. So that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that Cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm 
trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello? Can you read me? It's Tasker. Is that you? Major! It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. I can do that, Major. Then we don't have time to lose. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. Approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidians. Your intentions have been clear from the start. I take full responsibility for my actions which were entirely my own, not the Federation's. How noble. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Hotari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved. Why would you do that? You've given up everything and gained nothing. We have peace. Fairness was never part of the bargain. I thank you for coming. But the sooner the Federation leaves, the better. The hell we will! Captain. What about my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team? The data you stole? I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Hotari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. We came at your request. To help solve the problem, not you create one. You came because I wanted to see the mighty Federation for myself. 
the greatest power in the galaxy. Needless to say, I was disappointed. They never wanted our help. They were setting us up from the start. Commander Rydex saw what you did in those mines. How you bioformed innocent people against their will and turned them into Takan. Takan. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Taconians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was once ours, so it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. You won't get away with this. You'll be held accountable by the Federation. I already have gotten away with it. And the Federation has no authority here, not anymore. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Seize them. Get us out of here, now! Rydic to Resolute. Beam us out. You ever done something like this before? Close quarters combat? Infiltrating an enemy stronghold? Something like that. I once spent six days crawling through sewers during the siege of Tofar Ket to retake the Citadel there. That's just one of many campaigns I've served in. My dress uniform is well decorated. I can assure you of that. I'm sure you've given yourselves plenty of medals. I'm glad we're here with you. We need your kind of experience. I should say you do. And I'll be glad to have Lieutenant Itasca with us. She fought shoulder to shoulder with me in that siege. So you're pretty close, huh? She's like... a daughter to me. She's saved my life more than once. She's more than just a comrade in arms. Don't worry. We'll get her and the others free. I'll worry less when that's been done. But once we have my comrades, proper soldiers, we'll be able to retake the bridge. Then, our fleets will catch up to us. The ATP is just down that corridor. Is this the artillery platform? This is the power distribution for the forward armament cluster. Combat here. Disruptor burns on the walls. Signs of a grenade detonation. If there was a fight, the Takan might still be nearby. Maybe my people killed them. Or they could be waiting for us. And that's a problem for when we meet them. The distribution conduits have been knocked loose. The currents in those lines would be lethal. Is there any way to power those down? Each circuit has a control panel that regulates power to the magneto banks. I can track connections between the power lines and the control panels. I should be able to clear a safe path to your crew. 
We'll get the door open here. collateral damage out here. They backed us into a corner. We did that to drive them out. Put some space between us and the enemy. Ah! They're here. Get down! I think they've given up on capture. We'll never make it if we go back that way. You! Give me a hand with this! Oh! 
can't just run in there. You must live to fight. We let the enemy take them. Hadri and Private Turo. They weren't the only ones. But if we hadn't, it would have been all of us. I'll have to live with that, and I'll answer for it when I die. It's not the Illidian way to leave one of our own behind. It's a sin to do so. We're not gonna die. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's more important that we win. When we were in there, trapped, we agreed that we had to live to fight. Hadri agreed. We said if one of us was taken, the others wouldn't stop. We'd keep going, make our way to the bridge. They died so we could fight on. The Takan don't want them dead. They want to steal their bodies. And steal their minds. The Takan knows everything the host knows. That means they know our plan. They know we're heading to the bridge. 